Alright, so welcome back to my channel, you guys. I don't know why in my last video I didn't mention that we hit 2k on YouTube. That is such a big deal for me. I know people have like tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, but for me, knowing where I started to now, like I am so happy and thankful. And I'm just so grateful for all you guys because you guys really do support me. Like y'all are always in the comments, always like in my videos. So I love you guys. I really, really do. Um, but today I'm going to go ahead and do my March favorites. I don't have as much products because you guys, I don't know what it is, but there's just not a lot of products that are catching my eyes recently. Um, but I do have a few. So you guys want to stick around and see what they are. Then go ahead and keep on watching. So we're first going to go ahead and start off with concealer. I do have the Makeup Revolution conceal and define concealer you guys just know i just reviewed this on my channel but with that being said i do love it um one thing i want to mention is um i don't know what it was but i went ahead and tried a concealer and towards the end of the day my face looked completely orange you guys i use my maybelline fit me foundation all the time never have any issues with that but when i went ahead and tried concealer with it my face looked really orange my mom said something to me and i didn't realize till i looked in the mirror so i don't know if anybody else has this issue but if you do please let me know down below but nonetheless you guys it's a great concealer it's eight dollars very creamy very blendable and very full coverage so i do recommend it the one thing i will say is if it does oxidize on you please go ahead and try and shade down that way you don't have any issues but besides that you guys i really really do love it all right so moving on to mac fix plus this is such an oldie but a goodie i don't know why i waited so long to try this out but honestly it's one of the best setting sprays i have ever tried so back in the day i will always think that it will make me very dewy and oily but to be honest when i go ahead and spray it on my face my face is still matte towards the end of the day it just keeps my makeup looking fresh and good like how it looks now is how it will look like towards the end of the day so yes i still love my urban decay all night scent spray but this one you guys may just take the cake a little bit more um but i do know ulta is having their 21 days of beauty sale so towards april i want to say april 7th they're selling the full size for like half the Price. So if you guys are trying to get the Fix Plus, please go ahead and do it then. But honestly, you guys, I'm sure a lot of you guys do have MAC Fix Plus already. I mean, it's been out for years at this point. Um, but I just want to go ahead and tell my oily skin girls, if you're looking for a good setting spray that won't make you look greasy towards the end of the day, I really do recommend this one. All right, so moving on to the lips. I do have the e.l.f. lip gloss in the shade Mocha Twist. This is such a pretty lip gloss, you guys. I always go on Target and CVS, I think, and I always see it. I'm just like, I need to get it. So I finally decided to go ahead and pick it up. Let me give you guys a quick swatch on my hand. Like, look how pretty that shade is. With a lip liner, it's even prettier. I usually wear this lip gloss when I want to go ahead and do like an everyday look without doing too much. Um, it's just a pretty sheen on the lips, and I love how it has a tint of color also. It kind of reminds me of the Alyssa Ashley lip gloss. I don't have that lip gloss, but they look very, very similar the more I look at it. So it may be a dupe. I don't know. I think so, but it is. Alright, so moving on to the best highlighting brush I have ever tried in my whole entire life. This is the Morphe M510 highlighting brush, and this is honestly the best I've tried. So I used to be a fan brush type of girl. I just love fan brushes. I think they're very easy to use, um, but I noticed a lot of people don't like it for a reason. I don't know what it is, but for me, it works. But with this, you guys, it really just hugs your, um, what do you call this? Your, what do you call this? <laughs> So what I was trying to say, you guys, is it really does hug your cheeks. Like, it just applies it so beautifully. Let me go ahead and show you guys a quick demonstration. But it just applies it so well. Like, do you see that effect? Like, do you see this? See, now I got to go ahead and apply it to the other side because I can't leave it hanging. All right, I have a little bit too much on, but... You guys get the point. So if you are looking for this brush, I do have it at Ulta. I do know it's like six to ten dollars, something like that, but it's pretty affordable. Um, I do have my fan brush here. This is the Morphe uh M310. This one is just as good, but it's a little bit streaky, doesn't apply it as well. And this one right here kind of blends it into your skin. So it just depends what you like. Um, but I will say this one right here is just better than this one. It's a treat. So when I went ahead and did the yellow makeup look and let my natural hair out, every single person was just gassing me up. And to be honest, I appreciate it because you guys were so freaking sweet. But I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what I use in my hair. So this one right here is a Camille Rose Naturals Curl Maker and also Camille Rose Almond J or Jai Twist and Butter. So this is what they are right here. These products are low-key expensive. I did get it at Ulta or 
not Ulta. I got it at Target or Walmart, one of those places. Um, and they're about like $14 and $15 each. But when I tell you guys it is worth it, it is absolutely worth it because when I go ahead and put it in my hair, the next day I take it out, it looks very shiny and healthy and bouncy. And also it allows for my hair to last around seven days without washing it or anything like that. So yes, I do recommend it. It's kind of expensive, but at the same time, I'd rather use something I know will last a long time on my hair. So this is what they are. They smell amazing. Let me go ahead and snip this one and describe it to you guys. All right, so to be honest, the gel doesn't smell that good. That one is not my favorite, but the almond twist and butter, this one just smells like cupcakes. Like it smells like absolute cupcakes. It smells so freaking good. Um, go to your Target, Walmart, maybe CVS, I don't know, and pick these up. It will make your hair look so good. It will make it look bouncy, shiny, you know, all of this stuff. So yes, Camille Rose Naturals, they're expensive, but they're absolutely worth it. So moving on to my last favorite, I do have a waist trainer. I know it's so random, but at the same time, you guys don't know, I have been working out recently just to make my body look good so I can feel good about myself. And this right here, I got from Amazon. It was only $17. And to be honest, I didn't expect much because waist trainers are usually like, what, $50? $60, something like that. So this is pretty cheap. Um, but I did get it on Amazon. And I do know people just wear it on their body throughout the day. And that's it. But for me, I can't do that because I'm scared of, you know, it moving my organs and all that good stuff. I'm not usually the girl to go ahead and post my body on Instagram and stuff like that because I'm so shy. Um, but if I was, you guys, like this is just... It's making my confidence like go through the roof right now. But what I love about it is you can go ahead and get medium, large, and also small. I did get it in large. Um, and you can go ahead and adjust it if you want to. So you go ahead and strap this part right here around your waist like so. And then they have an extra part right here. You can go ahead and tighten it if you want to. But this honestly has been changing my body. I've been using it for about three to four weeks now. And my stomach is getting that hourglass Bigger. So I'm going to go ahead and link it down below if you guys want to go ahead and purchase it. So yeah, you guys, I am so excited to see how my body will look like in a few weeks because it is just changing every single day. But if you want to go ahead and purchase it, I'll put it in the description bar. All right, so moving on to this last product, you guys. I'm kind of upset because I did wish it worked, but for me, it just didn't. And it was $20, so it was low-key expensive. So this is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in the shade Conspiracy. It is such a pretty shade. Let me go ahead and just put it to show you guys what it looks like. So this is what it looks like on my skin, you guys. A very deep, dark brown chocolate color. I love it so much. Now, with that being said, it is waterproof. And I think this is why I have an issue with it. Because when I go ahead and apply on my lips and put a liquid lipstick on top, or even a lip gloss, or even a regular lipstick, it doesn't blend well with the product. And I don't know what it is. I go ahead and put it on. And you can still see the lip liner around my lips. But the gloss or the lipstick or whatever it is cannot blend into it well. So it kind of makes me upset because it's $20. I've only had it for two weeks. And this is how much I've used. Like you have to sharpen it so much. And there's not a lot of product. Um, but yeah, it just doesn't blend well with the products on my lips. So I don't know why it does that. I think because it is waterproof. Um, but yeah, it just makes me upset because I was really rooting for it. I really was. So for $20, you guys, I really don't recommend it because it's so expensive. I'm just going to go ahead and stick with my Jordana lip liner pencil in the shade Coco Loco. That is only like, what, $3, something like that. So seven of those for one of these. Do the math. Um, but yeah, I'm just sad because I really want it to work. But what can you do? Alright, so that's all the products I have for you guys. Hopefully next month is a little bit better because I just haven't been really buying a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff just hasn't been getting my attention. Um, so we'll see about next month. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to let me know down below what are some of your favorites this month. And that's all I have for you guys today. So love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next one.